Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel, Lori Candlelover, and I'm excited to say that I finally got my um, big order of nine candles that I've been waiting almost a month for that have been hanging out in some facilities really close by, but took forever to get delivered for some reason. So um, I just want to do a cold review on some of these so you guys can get an idea of what they smell like on cold, and of course as I do the melting, I will definitely review them. So this one is uh, blueberry pancakes and as you might imagine they smell very much like blueberry with a hint of like maple syrup but it's not really mapley mostly blueberry and smells great so that one um, I'm sure will be really strong because um, for whatever reason even in a Bath and Body Works blueberry pancakes or blueberry candles just seem to have a really strong throat but um, Goose Creek doesn't disappoint on their blueberry scents so uh, blueberry pancakes smells great. So this one is Silly Pumpkin. And Silly Pumpkin is very interesting to me. Um, I know it has a pumpkin and different um, earth, a little bit of earthiness in the scent notes. And of course, when I do the reviews, I will read the scent notes to you um, as I'm reviewing each one. But for just a cold review, I get... Um, I get some pumpkin. I get a little bit of floral, um, almost like that kind of dry broomsticky type um, scents you get like at a craft store. Well, kind of like a light straw hay, but it's not like Harvest Hayride, like hay per se. It's just kind of gonna, I don't know, it's kind of a florally, dry kind of um you know hay or something they use in craft stores <laughs> I'm trying to think with it it's not raffia that's not the word i'm trying to think of anyway it's very fall and outdoorsy and um it's not a sweet scent to me it's more of a earthy pumpkiny um slightly floral scent so that's interesting um, this one is spiderweb pancakes, and I smelled these before the other night when I got them. This one smells fantastic. I get sweet and buttery, but I also get a hint of that blackberry in there. Oh, it smells so good on cold, and I hope that it is that good when it is burning because that one I love on cold. Okay, so this one is pumpkin uh, sugar churro and this one is very cinnamony um it is very on cold anyway it is very cinnamony and um it's a different to me it's slightly different type of cinnamon than pumpkin sugar cheer uh, uh pumpkin cinnamon sugar donut <laughs> there you go <laughs> cinnamon sugar donut and brown sugar churros there we go that's what I'm trying to think of. So brown sugar churros, I think has more of a bakery note, at least on cold than this one. Cinnamon sugar donut, sugared cinnamon donut, however they say it, um, is more, it is very powdery cinnamon scent donut. This one is even slightly more of a cinnamon scent than that, because it's not a powdered cinnamon that I smell in here, and I don't get, on cold anyway, I don't get a lot of pumpkin, maybe a tiny bit of sugar, a lot of cinnamon in this one. I don't even smell a ton of bakery, but that could be totally different when it's burning. On cold, I just get a really, it's nice. And believe me, you know what? I love cinnamon. If you, if you like cinnamon, you will like this candle. If you don't like cinnamon, you might not like it, but I can't tell for sure how much cinnamon is actually going to come through as it's uh, burning. But cold, especially in the lid, you get a ton of cinnamon. Um, then we have pumpkin breakfast waffle, which is a beautiful blue color. It's just slightly darker of a blue than the blueberry pancakes. This one is very much a, at least on cold, very much a vanilla pumpkin marsh, uh, pumpkin waffle scent or a Bath and Body Works type pumpkin pecan waffle. It's a kind of a combination of those two. I'm not sure if the pecan is as strong in this one as it does is in the pumpkin pecan waffle from Bath and Body Works. In the vanilla pumpkin waffle of Goose Creek, 
it's not as prominent because it's vanilla and it doesn't have as, I don't know, even know if it has pecans in that one, but this one has pecans. I'm pretty sure in the scent notes uh, and it's in the label, but so it's kind of, I think a blend of those two candles and it smells really nice on cold. It's not super strong, so we'll, but I can smell it. So we'll see how it is when it's uh, melting. And then we have the pink uh, berry crisps. This one, sniffing the lid, I definitely get some of that pink berry, Captain Crunchy type berry cereal scent. Um, smells great. We'll see how, it, how uh, strong it is melting, but it does smell really good. And then the last one I have over here is um, the Pinwheel Cookies, which is um, just this, this redo of the... Um, raspberry pinwheels uh, that was in the Tuwick tumbler last year and um, I really like this one some people have said it was florally to me this one and I've had a couple of these in the tumblers has never been florally to me it's a very nice raspberry kind of sweet butter cookie type scent um, I'm curious to see if it's the same as the one I had before I really liked the one I had before I had a great throw so I'm really hoping that it'll be very similar um, to, to the one I had before. So the only other one I have right now that I'm not showing you uh, in this little stack over here is the um, pumpkin angel food cake, which I have uh, melting over there. So I'm going to do a, re a review of that one here shortly. Um, it's so far not super strong. It's pulling out. But I do get hints of it, and it is kind of a lightly, I don't want to say fruity, but lightly fruity, maybe a little bit of pumpkin-y, like bakery cake scent. Um, it does remind me a little bit of the other angel food cake, but the other one has pear in it. I'm not necessarily getting pear in this one, but just a light kind of a fruity cake scent. Um, but I will definitely review it specifically and read off the scent notes um, here real soon when I do that review. Um, Otherwise, I just want to get these in uh, a cold review of these right now, um, just so you can get an idea. And then I will definitely uh, review each one of these individually after uh, melting or burning and uh, read the scent notes to you. So hopefully this is helpful to you. I hope you guys got some good candles this last weekend with the sale. And of course, hope for some new sales to be coming out soon. Um, but uh, if not, that's okay, because I, I still have one small box of some new ones that I haven't had before coming uh, any, I think in the next two or three days. So, um, when I get those, I will definitely do a review. So thanks for watching you guys. Uh, I appreciate all of you uh, taking the time. Please like, and subscribe if you haven't already and spread the word, tell your friends, come and, uh, check out some reviews of some really great candles. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.